Okay, so we thought we would walk around yes. and you guys are just going like this. Okay. <laughs> look, 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 look. One, two, three. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Yes! Yes! Let's go. That's the reaction we want. Oh my god. You're all genius. Nice. I'm firing my therapist. This is it. Alfie's losing his Alfie, what is that? He's just so captivated, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to the Aquasky family. Yay! Thank you, Yay! Yay! Thank you guys. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Boys, day three. Mm -hmm. I think the first rocks we set today are really going to set the tone for probably the rest of the day, right? I'm pretty sure this is setting the tone for the rest of the day. This is setting the tone for the rest of the day, yeah. I think we got in a pretty awesome spot last night. We pushed a little bit further than I think we wanted to, but it was great. Greg's throwing in a little bit of a monkey wrench, and now we're going to landscape the whole thing. Oh, why not? Well, but in the end, it's going to be worth it because you want that really nice finish shot, and she's going to be blown away yeah. when it's all said and done. So we've got to do some lights. We've got to refone some things. Things. We've got two more waterfalls to build, finish some plumbing, and then mm. landscape. Yep. Okay. I think we'll Sounds be done good. by 4 by 4.30. I'm sweep. I'm rubbing my back. 4.25. Don't yeah. you think I'm a, Hey, did you know I, I'm a good ventriloquist? <laughs> <laughs> show everybody, show everybody how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Make it stop! Make it stop! Uh, Today's gonna be awesome. That's what he says. <laughs> going to pimp this pond out. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous when we're done putting all these plants in here. This is like Christmas tree decorations on a big blue spruce. You know, I'm actually impressed. The pond guy actually did pretty good with the plants. <laughs> Yeah, we went a little overboard on the plants, but you can never have too many plants. Plus we have this woodland set in here, so we have a nice look to give us that forest appeal. <laughs> How did everyone sleep? So good. Yeah. Are you kidding me? So we're like kids in a candy store waiting for this. What about you? I'm so excited and this is insane. You this think, is insane. What was it compared to what you were thinking? Well, I mean, I have trouble visualizing things sometimes before the final product. So it's hard to say. And I feel like I'll know more when it's done. Right? Okay, okay. Now from here to done, like how different is it gonna look? Well, let's put it this way. You have a 20 foot tall blue spruce with no Christmas tree decorations on it yet. Okay. So just yeah. imagine a 20 foot tall spruce tree yeah. in your backyard. Uh -huh. So by the time we get done with this, when you get back at what, 4.30 today, you yeah. said you're coming yeah. back from yeah. recording your new book? Yes, yes. Okay, you will have water flowing and our goal is to make Steven very excited about the sound of the water. Oh my God. Right? So and then a place for your kids to splash around in. That's the most important thing. Yes. Is having the kids a place for them to get to this play is the, and explore. This will be the ultimate kid attraction, the ultimate wildlife attraction, and the ultimate relaxation attraction for you guys. This is so beyond exciting. So right now, Alfie, when we take him on the walks, he's just splashing on the street. He'll find a tiny puddle and he's like, Walter! He, he says water with a British accent. Oh, that's hilarious. He goes, Walter, Walter, <laughs> Walter. Awesome. And um, so now he's really gonna have a lot of Walter. 
All right, so we'll tune back in today at 4.30 and you guys will see how Laura and her family are living the aquascape lifestyle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> how do I we love. get so lucky? I love my job. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is one of my favorite parts, bringing in the plants. It really just starts setting it off. It makes it look complete. And the analogy that pond guy over there likes to use all the time is uh, Christmas trees on the decoration. Decorations on the Christmas tree. <laughs> Let me say it for him. It's the lights on the Christmas tree, right? It's the decorations on the Christmas tree. He got so, you see how nervous he got? I didn't know you were talking to me. I'm trying to work here. Get on, stop getting on camera, work. <laughs> So the plants too are a lot like the stones and we're constantly going back and forth. And so follow me really quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So one, you wanna really make sure you're paying attention to the height. The height of the plant, it's full mature size and what its fullest potential is gonna be. So we can see Greg, right behind Greg over there between John Adams and Greg, we've got a cedar tree over there. I love that thing being that close to the water feature because as that thing gets bigger and bigger and bigger, it'll actually spread out, it'll get taller, it's gonna block a lot of that hillside, which will make you focus more on the waterfall over in here. So we're really looking to block everything back up on that left side. We're gonna do the same thing. We'll probably drop another one up there. Look at where Ed's coming down. Right about there, those branches will come out over that waterfall. As that thing matures, it's gonna look so cool as that waterfall comes out under Underneath the canopy and the branching structure of those big cedars. You can see Tim in the front. He's putting in some coral bells there. Those are great. They'll stay nice and low. We don't want anything really tall. And then if we zoom in on Greg again, we've got some type of climbing vine there. And I don't know what it is, but a lot of times we'll take like clematis or any type of runny vine and plant it more as a ground cover. So what'll look great is as that thing matures, it's gonna start crawling all over the rocks, really softening up all that rock. What we're actually trying trying to do on a lot of them is almost bury the rocks and plants. Now we can never do that fully because of the size of some of the boulders, but if we come back in two, three years and it looks like the boulders are just kind of popping out amongst the plants, it'll look perfect. <laughs> Things are feeling great. I feel like we're on schedule. I think we've got a couple hours before Laura actually gets here. And so we're just doing some of the final touches. And one of those final touches is always the underwater lights, which really just bring a water feature back to life, obviously at night. So we've got lights all over the place. We have pathway lights, we have three watt lights, we have one watt lights, and every single water feature is lit up. In fact, I see John, DJ, and Ben up there working on lights now. Let's go check it out. John, buddy. 
I see you working on the lights. How's it coming? Coming along. Fantastico. I like that you guys got a lot of different lights in here. I, I think it's going to be super sweet. I love the combination of the 1 watts with the 3 watts. I think we even have some pathway lights that we're kind of putting in here. When you're putting these lights in, what are you thinking? Balance, honestly. And for me, it's a lot of that firelight thing. Yeah. You know, I'm always trying to do that. I'm getting different styles from other people that are in here and watching the way that stuff's getting tucked in the back so that the water's still kind of going to be rippling up on the light fixture, but it's casting across more than lighting a waterfall it's meant to create lighting effects on the boulder work along the outside edges and I, I picked up a lot of that today watching the way that some of the other guys were situating things as well i think that's one of my favorite things to really like play around with the light and if you can get those shimmery marks the wavy marks all over the canopies of trees over some of the rocks and stuff in here it brings not just the waterfall to, to light at night but the whole feature to light right? yeah it's, it's going to be moving top to bottom for sure and i think just like you said the combination of different brightnesses and different fixtures and put some in deeper water and some of them half out of the water there's it's just going to be totally different everywhere it's going to have a different effect everywhere you look i see a one watt spotlight here right and then i see a one watt waterfall light down there and the biggest difference between the waterfall light and the spotlight is the spotlight we can actually aim right at an area over here so this rock water is going to kind of come like this we definitely want to hit this little waterfall in here this will not just hit this area but probably cast a light all the way back up into these rocks over here or this one watt down in here basically sits more like a hockey puck and it's going to shoot straight up so as that water comes through here we get that kind of horsetail fall in here this is going to get lit up then we've got a three watt all the way over in here so we've got this all hidden with rock and gravel. As that three watt comes through here, it's gonna hit this waterfall right in this area. And we might have to take that one and angle it a little bit. And playing around with it at night is like something I love doing. It's just kind blast. of adjusting it just a little bit and taking the light to its fullest potential, I guess, right? Absolutely. Coming in here and playing with it. You know what? I, these one watts, I've got one of these at my house that I put inside of a fountain stone. Uh -huh. And it literally lights the canopy of a tree that's like 45 feet in the air. Yeah. Yeah. When it's pitch black at night, Someone you can just fountain? see the twinkles in the tree when wait, the leaf wait, wait a second. out. It's amazing. Wait a second. Who's this guy? Oh, just do it. Hey, those of you who don't know, <laughs> this hey, is comment the, below if you want me to pull the trigger. This is the <laughs> Weston Zimmerman from Tussie Landscaping, another artist of the year. Now, Weston, you've been in meetings Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> yeah. you, you came out here to talk about lights. <laughs> I mean, you didn't see the salt water in my hair <laughs> from surfing. No, but Weston, say that. So you've got a one watt that you did what with? Oh, like I have a fountain like right around my front walkway. Uh -huh. And one of those little things, I have a huge white oak tree. Yep. And that little thing will be lit like 50 feet up there in the tree. Like it's just like lit up, like just twinkly, you know? Yeah. I can't <laughs> wait to show you what this thing looks like at night. If you want to see more about lights and even our other line of lights with our colored lights that have different colors from blue to green to orange to red and every color in between all that with adjustable intensities and everything else check out the link below and we can help you light up your existing water feature
<laughs> it's awesome, right? My favorite part, plugging it in. That's the universal plug-in sign, so if you don't know. But I think we nailed it. The sound is insane. The sound is different from there than it is from here, than it is from there. I 100% know that they can see it from the kitchen counter over here. And when they open these doors, that sound is gonna carry through the house. I love that it's so audible all the way from here and that it's on remote control pumps. So when they sit down there and her children are down there playing, they can actually turn it down because it's almost overwhelming when you're down right in front of it. Like you'd be yelling over everybody just to compete for conversation. So um, I think it's just super cool. I love that we got the opportunity to throw some plants in and around it because it just brings it to its fullest potential. And this thing in like two more years when it's all filled in is gonna be insane. I'm really excited to see what Laura's uh, expression is gonna be because she was like every single one of our other customers and that even though we know exactly what that water is gonna do, she couldn't visualize it. She said, well, what's it gonna look like when it's on? And I said, wet. <laughs> So when she comes back through here, her expression is going to be like, maybe the way mine was with my pond, the way all of our customers are like, I have this, I get to own this for the rest of my life. Like 100% she's going to be floored. 100% she's going to be floored. I'm actually excited to see her children's response, Steven's response, her response. We'll keep our fingers crossed that she loves it, but I, I know she's got it. Tell me how you're feeling before Laura comes. I am feeling Horny. actually ready for a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for a beer. It's been a hard three days. Everybody came together. <laughs> pull this thing off. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's, it's overwhelming. You get these things running. You need to spend not only the three days of building it, but anticipating, lining everything up beforehand, getting it all ready. So now it's just done. It's like, ah. Oh. It is, right? Oh, but now you the, just the, my back. favorite part Relax. is still like, you know, you plug it in. <laughs> For sure. You get to see, like, it's so rewarding, Actually, right? my favorite part is the anticipation of yeah. plugging it in. I don't like, know. Ah. You can always tell you've nailed it, like, when everybody just sits and doesn't say anything for a little bit. Like, everybody just stared at it for a good, you know, five minutes. And I think everybody's yeah. tired. Wow. Well, <laughs> yeah. like, the yeah. negative ions, you start sucking them in. Yeah. It's no, start, it's, people it's, are going to yeah. start falling over any minute. It's overwhelming. Knocking them out. Yeah, it's, like, <laughs> it's powerful. An aggressive amount of ions. Water's just vaporizing. It's are you gonna um, on those boulders, blowing that stuff in our face? Are you gonna sit underneath the waterfall so you can show uh, Laura? Like, how the kids can uh, I'm play gonna, it? I'm gonna say no. Come on! Uh, we sure talked about playing no, in it. No, you like... talked about playing in it. I never said anything about playing in it. I will take my shoes off. I'll sit and under, I'll, I'll play. sit underneath the bottom waterfall if you sit up underneath the middle one. <laughs> huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> she, I don't know if she she's wants not, her kids like She's not going to understand that. how to use it if well, we don't show her. I told her they could take their shoes off and walk in the water. And I would like, like to see you try to swim upstream. <laughs> 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 Okay, so we thought we would walk around. Yes. And you guys are just going like this. <laughs> look, 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 look at your feet. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And then, and we're going to walk so you can see where you're walking. Yeah. Yeah. Look down. You're going to peek. I'm not peeking. You're going to peek. I know you are. You're going to peek. I'm looking down. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Make sense. Oh, hold on. Let's see when we can hear it. Oh. I can hear it already. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, don't look yet. We're gonna go down there. Okay, we're gonna go to the slide. We're gonna go down to the slide. We're gonna go the slide. We're gonna stop. We're gonna stop in front of the slide. Stop. Tell me what. Tell me what. Oh my goodness. Where 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 we at? Where we at? Okay. One, two, three. Oh my gosh! Oh my god. It was really an honor. <laughs> Here's the awesome. man that did it. Here's the man that did it. Oh, wow. You're welcome. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, it's so <laughs> Thank beautiful. you so much. You're welcome. Oh, this has solved all my problems. You're all geniuses. Nice. I'm finding my therapist. This is it. Whoa. Yeah. Steven's saying, huh? You now have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so What's incredible. Rock, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's big one. Yeah, yeah. You now have waterfall oh, problems. <laughs> Wait, wow. this is insane.
insane. This is <laughs> it's so stunning. Look at the, the, the animals on there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Dream, right? oh. It looks so Water? natural and so beautiful and peaceful. And this, it's truly better than I could have ever oh, yeah. imagined. Never seriously, seriously. Seriously. <laughs> Everyone oh is a unique work of art, one Never of a kind custom creation. But as artists, we're artists with rock and water. And uh, it, every waterfall is unique, you know? Every stone is different and every setting is different. And the nice thing is we decide to landscape it. So this thing is just, it's only going to get nicer with age. <laughs> it's just brand new. Next year, this time, it'll just be all the colors up there. It'll just be No beautiful. way. I so it just gets better. Better and yes. better. Every year Every better. single year. Yeah, and, 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 and our favorite time is at night time. <laughs> it's crazy. Wait, we put in about 100 likes. So this what? thing is going to be Joe. Up, like a Christmas tree out there. No. That's insane. Have our kids seen it? No, no, no. Can I, I go? Can I yeah, go? Yeah, go get them. Go get them. Oh my god. <laughs>because we had certified Aquasage Contractor Artists of the Year. This was three days. 150,000 pounds of rock in three days. <laughs> I can't believe that took yeah. three days. With so wait, and one. then the sound, you said it, you can like change it. Oh yeah, as yeah, you put the rocks in there. The sounds, so, yep. wow. the flow, we could turn so pumps perfect. off or on. Beautiful. Yep. Sounds amazing. It's really mellow kind of sound. It's not like overpowering. It's just exactly. Yeah, that's beautiful. it. That's the key. Because it can get overpowering. Right. And but that's this the, is not. No, no. No. Exactly. So we got two pumps running now, but you can also go to one pump. Right. Okay. You know, okay. So. okay. So I think my favorite part of the whole thing is it yeah. sounds different here than it does from over there, oh, than really? it does from wow. down there. Oh, yeah. Wow. You're going to be able to open up the windows in the house, hear it all the way from inside the house. I'm, that's epic. Yeah, this that is. is. It changes. You have water pump property now. <laughs> 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 Wild. I oh, want to yeah. get up close. Yeah, get the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let, let me go see you. waterfall honey it's your waterfall what do you see <laughs> her face. oh my goodness Happy. can we go play oh look at that this look is at it. Okay. you know she's like a teenage boy <laughs> like she just loves her food as you should girly as you should so what do you see honey let's go see oh my goodness
Yeah. Abby, remember me? <laughs> remember me? Great. Well, you are now living the Aquascape lifestyle. I mean. And, <laughs> and it's an honor for us oh. to work with people that are going to enjoy it. Oh. You know? oh, and the yeah. fact that you have such a broad influence and you can help so many people with your story yeah. and how you do things, I think this is perfect because we want more people to live the Aquascape lifestyle. This is my 31st year doing this. Wow. And this has been my passion. And, you know, Ed's been with me 29 years. Brian's been with me 27. And this is our all of our passions. You yeah. Know? What a it's team. Clear. Very oh, clear yeah. that this is it's really special, isn't it? It's a really special thing. So, oh, I know. so this is the first. <laughs> we have other opportunities to do things in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The, water the first is a of many. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the average person does three water features. Uh, big, bigger, biggest, good, better, best. This is, no. <laughs> this is pretty big. <laughs> This is pretty darn big. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, we're so say, tired. And you're like, oh my God. It's truly better than I could have ever imagined. Oh, yeah. I see. Right. That's, 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 that makes sense. It really is. Yeah. And, and, and this is such a special home. Like, we're raising our children here. And, I mean, and, it's and so meaningful in so many ways. Yeah, and that's really what we want to hear about is the stories of how it changes you moving forward and oh, how yeah. you interact with it, how the kids interact yeah. with it. Because it's going to be different all the time and it's going to change throughout the entire year. Yeah. So that's wow. Wow. That's the feedback we're looking for. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't have a better endorsement than that boy there. He, <laughs> yeah, he hasn't right. come out of there for no, like an hour. Our son is moving in. He's not. Yeah. And, he was, and when you come and visit mom and dad yes. in Dallas yes. Grove, come on by Aqualand oh. and, and check out our Aqualand. Uh, yeah. Aqualand. In, I love in, it. In St. Charles. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. In my, in my house in Downers. Yes. Oh, yeah. my oh, goodness. Wow. The kids could go swimming. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Oh, and, my, wow. and, you know, Mike and Tracy, yeah. my sister, I was telling them they were two, yeah. five and seven. Yeah. They would lose it. Yeah. They would absolutely You're love. Welcome to the Aquascape family. Yay! Thank you. Yay! Yay! Thank you guys. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Thank you so much. You're welcome. My pleasure. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. about you guys but that was the reaction I was looking for I mean they were totally floored and I love that genuine like they're speechless right and I think that's how we feel every single time we put in we're always just totally blown away by what we created and even on this one three days I mean three days 150,000 pounds of rock we had contractors from all over the country not just your ordinary contracts art contractors artists of the year we had Tussie and his team we had John Adams with modern design we had Jack with Atlantis Ed the pond professor myself from team aquascape who am I missing Tim Wood from Aquatic Edge unbelievable artists all coming together to create this and we just have fun doing it every single time and I think the Cleary family is just gonna absolutely love it I saw uh, their kids back in here playing you know they're gonna be down here every single day and as they grow they're gonna use it differently over and over now hey I know you guys want to get an up-close peek at this thing let's go check out some of those different areas we talked about earlier in the day come on so this is one of those waterfalls that we talked about earlier in there and how we wanted it just to kind of come gently over this one and then split around and look at how thick that water is I mean it's just incredible now really I'm gonna shut up for a second while you guys just pay attention to the sound. Hopefully you guys can hear that deep bass sound. And with thick, thick water like that, you're gonna get that deep bass sound. And then if you come down here where it breaks apart, look at how thick the water is. It's so cool. And look at that. That's a couple inches thick right there. So we'll come up here and check out this different water. So this is probably one of my favorite sections in here where water is coming from all different angles. We get a lot of higher treble sounds in here where water is splashing off of things. Here again, we got some pretty thick water in here. We call these like these horsetail falls. This is one of my favorite falls because it's kind of hidden from everywhere else. And for the kids, 
and the Cleary family, I can't wait till they discover this spot over here. Then over here, it splits around, bounces around some more. It's got this spring-fed look up on top. Can you guys hear the excitement in my voice? Because I'm super excited about it. Like, it's just so cool. I'm not even gonna talk about it anymore. Really, what I want you guys to do is just kind of fly through here, really take it all in, and then tell me your favorite waterfall. Which one do you love the best? Which part sounds the best to you? Do you like it at night better or day better? You guys like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget the comments, right? Because I really, really want to hear what your favorite part is. Tell all your friends, and we're going to do this again really, really soon for you. Gentlemen, cheers. 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 My friends. Some iced tea. <laughs> We're here because we like fishing this man. No, he can't help it. He loves turtles. Yeah. <laughs> he loves turtles. Yes, I would much rather catch that turtle than fish. We are in Mazatlan, 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 Mazatlan Mexico, El Salto. El Salto Lake. One of the top five, top ten bass fishing lakes in the entire world. Not, this is not this in Mexico. Is the best. The world. This is the best bass fishing lake on the planet. Right? Number one bass <laughs> fishing lake in it's the gonna world. Be, it's gonna be our, luck, our luck, we won't catch anything. <laughs> But, okay. you know, it started off nice. Yeah, we actually walked, pretty it quick, the two blender hour drive. Fire yeah. right right? It didn't feel yeah. that bad. Two hour drive, good conversation the whole way. As soon as we get here, we're drinking margaritas. We've got our fearless leader behind us over here who hates fishing. I think my goal would be for that guy to catch the biggest fish. That'd be cool. That yeah, would be that'd cool. That'd be awesome. That's the goal for well, <laughs> We just need him to catch a fish to catch like a in the first 15 minutes and then, then he's in. So Greg, we work hard, but you make sure we play hard too. And Amen. I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate you guys. Awesome, yeah. well awesome deserved. adventure. And happy Absolutely. 79th to my father. Hey, hey. happy 79th. Absolutely happy 79th. Where's 79. your wheelchair? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to go explore, get to know the area a little bit. Obviously, there's part of the lake. Hoping it's a little bigger. <laughs> I know it's a lot bigger. We Google mapped it, and it's enormous. We're going to have so much fun. Let's get settled in. Morning everybody, the big day. It is 5.30 in the morning. Boats are getting ready to get going here. We've already had our breakfast, already had some coffee, which is kind of important at 5.30 in the morning. But uh, we're gonna go out. All of our guides are showing up. I don't know if you can see this, but there's our boats. I'm super excited, but I will say I'm grossly, grossly underprepared. <laughs> I have two reels, two rods, a Tupperware full of hooks. I did not come out here knowing the expertise level that I should have been thinking about fishing this lake. I mean, look at, this is everybody else's gear. You know, these are professional fishermen all coming out with five, six rods, all of their tackle. And then I've got my two, and I've pillaged enough stuff from Johnny. So I have my two rods in this Tupperware, and I'm pretty confident I'll got still one catch of the biggest bait. fish. We got one of every day. Yeah, confidence will get you nowhere. Here's what I know. I'll probably do better than Greg. This guy right here. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's still, uh, still kind of rustling around in his bed there. He got up a little late. Tim's still trying to get out here. But we've got about 15, 20 minutes before boats take off, and then we'll go. Hey. See you on the water. Bye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a pig. <laughs> that's awesome. Nice. Yeah. Oh, my God. Awesome. Nice job, Tim. <laughs> right now, Tim holds the record with the largest fish at six pounds. Most of the stuff we've been catching is around a pound to three, but we've got hope and the skies look fantastic. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I think that's a big one. I think that's the one we've been waiting for, John. Oh! 
Oh. Yeah! That's so awesome. What? <laughs> <laughs> we just came out for second part of our day and I think we're good. Yeah. Right? I'm good. <laughs> I can go.